Hi everybody, welcome if it's your first time here. Hello, my name is Feb and I do housing videos uh, generally for Fallout 4, Skyrim and occasionally Fallout New Vegas. So today's video is about transfer settlement blueprints. This is just my horribly awkward intro to let you know this is for the people like me who may not be in our first flush of youth and have found transfer settlement blueprints or TSBs as I'm going to call them a little bit difficult to pick up and fathom how to make them work so I'm just going to show you how it works for me and how I do it hopefully it'll help you um, so that you don't miss out on some of these wonderful things that are in the game and um, I hope you'll appreciate I dressed for the occasion here's my t-shirt <laughs> she's such a dork okay onwards okay so the first thing to do is to find the mod you want and I chose this one, it's Coastal Mansion, it's by Zyger and I have three of their mods already. I love this author's work um, and as you can see it comes under the uh, Trans Settlement Blueprints, the TSB section of mods for Fallout 4 and then once you scroll down you'll see what the requirements are. So it needs these D DLCs, I mean I'm going ahead on the basis that you've got all the DLCs, if you haven't it's going to severely limit the amount of um, TSBs that you can have because most of them need some if not all of DLCs and then the requirements are all here if you click on any one of them it'll take you to the um, mod page so here's Mentha's more colorful compilation as you can see I have that one already absolutely love it and some of them some of these uh, links will take you to outside sources like this will take you to Bethesda um, and so yeah, you'll need a combination of um, both Nexus mods and outside. All right, so once you've got all those, just look at the additional ones that aren't actual requirements, but are, you know, nice to have. The beach workshop I already do have. The others, I don't think I've got any of these other ones, um, although I have been toying with these first three. Um, so we'll see. But okay, so we've installed all of these and uh, you I just do that with vortex in the normal way so I'll open up vortex okay here we go and there's my fallout 4 there's my mod list and just a quick point when you download from outside of Nexus which is kind of linked to vortex here um, if you go if you install something from Bethesda for example go to your plugins and make sure that it's enabled. Um, because sometimes they haven't been and then it's kind of like oh <laughs> it's not working well that's that's probably why okay so I'm not going to talk about vortex at all because I assume that you already know about that and that you have that installed and that you use that already as your mod manager um, if you don't click out now <laughs> all right so back to this so what I'll do next is I will go to the files and I'll manually download it. And here again, it will tell you everything you need. So just click on download. And because I'm not a premium member, I just go to slow and here it is opening up right now down there. Okay, next thing to do is open that up. And as you can see, it's gone into my downloads folder and it's right there or there. So the next thing to do, we can get rid of that and that. All right. So you can see there's the file. Right click on it. Click on uh, 7 zip if you've got it. Um, now, if you don't have 7 zip, I don't know what you do. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I don't know. Um, I'm sure there are other ways to do to open it. Um, or to extract it but that's what I do and I just say extract files and then okay and then down here you can see it is if I open it up open it again you will find this bp.json I don't know what that stands for it's just a json file so that's where you want to be with that. So I can just minimize this for the moment. And then I need to go to my Fallout. Um, and to get to my Fallout folders, nope. I go to this PC, local disk. 
it's under program files 86 for me and then uh, steam and then steam apps common fallout 4 data f4se plugins transfer settlements holy crap there's so many i know and then blueprints now i've got 10 folders at the moment they're all full up with blueprints if you just hover over them you'll see some of them are blueprints that i made of my builds and some of them are blueprints of other people's so i'm going to add a new folder so just right click new folder i'm going to call it 11 and so now i've got an empty folder and then I need to open up again my downloads. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller so I've got both of them on the screen. And then I'm going to just drag that over to folder number 11. And there it is. So now if I open it up, it just says that. All right, so then we get into game. Okay, so I'm now at Coastal Cottage and then I look at the rest of the installation instructions. So travel to Coastal Cottage, check, and then save after each of the following steps. And so, scrap everything scrappable, it says. we we'll scrap everything except the big rock cliffs along the northeastern and southwestern side. Um, don't use the extra object selection mode for your place everywhere. Um, as it makes some additional objects selectable that you should keep, okay? Remove the semi-transparent stains objects near the workbench, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. So basically it says scrap literally everything uh, and then import from your holotape. It says the garage door and the back entrance security door use logic gateways to allow opening and closing from both sides. You need to manually connect the terminals. Okay, well, I'm getting ahead of myself there, so um, we'll come back to that. Um, right now, uh, I've got a ton of scrapping to do because this is what Coastal Cottage looks like when you get here. Oh my god. Okay, so this mod author has very kindly given some pictures so that you can see what it's supposed to look like. So I'll get busy, I'll get everything scrapped and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so here's a quick check-in. Um, wow, pretty empty, hey? And there was a lot to get rid of, actually, especially around this hole. Um, I think I've got everything I need to get. Looking at the picture, which I'll insert here. Um, it looks as though I've got just about everything. The stain that he was talking about. Got to be in the right place to see it. There it is. Can you see this, like, black stain? Um, for that, I'm just going to use the console command to disable it. <laughs> and there it is gone so that's cool i'll just do a quick sweep and then we'll start looking at installing the blueprint oh my god okay so i think i'm all done and all clear so it looks pretty similar to what it's supposed to on the picture on the mod page so the next thing to do is to go to your inventory and to go to miscellaneous to transfer settlements and then import a settlement from a blueprint and I put it in folder 11 so when that pops up there we go it'll load you'll get that and then I need to make sure that everything is ticked that should be ticked so all DLC items um, the mod also says that one needs to be ticked and these two so okay import now this usually takes an absolute age my game freezes for a while while it thinks about it there we go all right so it started to import all the items and i need to stand somewhere else else i'm going to end up being trapped Ooh, look picture this is the most exciting bit. I just love this. Seeing it all popping into view. It's amazing. I will fast forward through this on the actual video. Because depending on how many items there are, this can take like an hour. Oh um, and don't worry about settlers or your pets or people getting stuck in the foundations. They do get unstuck pretty quickly. Ooh, hello. 
All right, I'll stop talking and fast forward through all this. All right, we've got a successful import. Plugins tells you what they are. Okay, so don't start building or scrapping and don't try assigning settlers here right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's have a look at this properly. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do a proper full on video of this place all by itself so that you can see it in full. Look out for that. I will move this workbench. I'll actually do it by using the um, workshop marker mod, I think it's called. I'll leave you the link for that below um, along with this. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody.